Hello there and welcome to this getting started video with DocShell 2.0. In order to uh, get started with DocShell you need to install uh, a number of extensions as well as a um, download the provider project and have and build that provider project using the third-party controls for that provider project. The very first step is to go to the downloads page of the soft landing website and you will notice here that there is a uh, step one is create an account and then sign into this site. So let's do that first. If this is the first time that you've come to the site and you do not have an account you need to register with the site. And as you can see uh, it's we don't ask for a lot of information just your email address and you can simply log in. And once you've logged into the site you should see your name username at the top of the the web page go back to the downloads page and then scroll down and now you're going to go into the uh, um, selection process of selecting which of the Visual Studio um, development environments you're planning to target DocShell into and also which development language that you're uh, hoping to target as well so um, if you're uh, going to develop in Visual Studio 2010 you would select the 2010 uh, links that you see here and if your target environment is 2012 then select the 2012 links that are here. So the first thing that we're looking at here is the DocShell VizX downloads and in the VizX downloads um, each one of these is a compressed file that contains two extensions. One is the DocShell light switch shell extension and the other one is a uh, DocShell um, modeling tool extension that, that's installed into Visual Studio um, either 2010 or 2012. Below that we have um, a series of links that um, are either targeting a C Sharp uh, provider project or a VB.net provider project. A provider project in DocShell is, is really just a bunch of controls that are inside a Visual Studio uh, project that are specifically targeting a specific uh, third-party control vendor. In this case it's uh, um, we only have Telerec um, out here but there will be a number of other providers added um, as time goes on so check back if you don't see your provider here. If you don't see your provider and you'd like us to um, be aware of the fact that you want your provider to be supported in DocShell please just click here and provide some feedback. Specify the provider and um, your needs and we'll do our best to uh, accommodate you. So as you see here, we can pick either C Sharp or VB.net. And um, once again, you uh, simply click on this link after you're signed in and you can download the, uh, the various uh, compressed files containing the project itself. So I've already downloaded this file. And as you can see, um, once the file is downloaded, you can uh, expand it into a separate directory as I've done here. And to install your extensions, you just simply double click on your extension and the VizX installer will automatically run for you. And this could take a little bit of time uh, so uh, just be patient it will come up eventually. And so once it comes up it will indicate the target uh, Visual Studio environment that the extension will be installed into. Uh, have a read through the end user license agreement which basically once you're uh, happy with the agreement itself you simply hit install and close and then repeat the same step on the second extension and once that's up, you just want to install it as well. Very good. So with the two extensions now installed, you can validate the extensions are installed by running Visual Studio. So with Visual Studio open, you simply go to the extensions and updates. And you should see uh, your extensions is being installed um, specifically inside the um, tools themselves as uh, the targeted tools that you've chosen. So the two extensions would be the navigation layout tool and then the DocShell extension itself. So uh, if you see those two things, you've installed the extensions correctly. Uh, congratulations. And so the next thing we want to do is take a look at the provider that um, from the website that we've downloaded. And so if I go into the providers project here and I go into this folder, um, you can see that this is the uh, expanded files that come out of the provider project that you download from the website and simply run this project and once this project opens up uh, you need to satisfy the references for your third-party controls 
So you will see uh, references that are not being satisfied uh, for each of these uh, third-party controls for Telerac. Uh, if you don't have the Telerac controls, go to the Telerac website and download the trial version of the uh, Telerac controls. Um, if you do have them, uh, you simply need to reference these uh, directly within your project. After you've done that in your provider project, you just do a build. And once that's built, you are um, good to go as far as um, the, the, the various elements for DocShell and beginning your first light switch application. Um, there are subsequent videos that uh, are on our website that um, target specifically uh, VB.NET or C Sharp as far as getting started. So we highly recommend that at this point you watch that video and, or, and subsequent other videos that will give you um, additional information on um, how, DocShell, uh, how to build a DocShell application and how to um, uh, you know, change things within DocShell and so forth. Of course, we were looking at uh, Visual Studio 2012. The same steps are 100% applicable for Visual Studio 2010. In Visual Studio 2010, um, there is a video at the very end of the uh, list that we recommend you watch, um, which shows you a subtle difference um, when you're building a uh, doc shell application with Visual Studio 2010 versus um, a uh, Visual Studio 2012 RC edition. Uh, with that, we hope you've enjoyed this video and look forward to watching our subsequent uh, quick start videos on getting started with DocShell. Thank you.